It's Christmas morning, and as Santa retires, the streets fill with wonder, carols, and choirs. But has Santa been? What's under the tree? Four large presents masked in mystery. All will be opened, their ribbons untied, as we all gather round to reveal who's inside. Christmas special, everybody. <laughs> On tonight's show, we are gifting you four brand new Mars singers, all of which are festive favourites. And guess what? We are unwrapping them all tonight. Yeah! So by the end of the show, we'll have crowned our Mars singer Christmas number one. <laughs> so uh, we might need some help. And like any family at Christmas, they will be arguing around the table in no time. It's our panel, everybody! Hello! I'm here! Here we go! <laughs> He's our very own wise man who puts the old in gold, <laughs> makes very little frankincense, and his guesses are all meh. <laughs> it's Jonathan well, happy Christmas to you too. We three kings of Orienta are bearing gifts for Itarora. <laughs> that was good. You're on fire. Deck the McCall's earth bows of holly. Fa la 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 Let it mow, let it mow, let it mow. It's She's the star from the top of our tree, Leona. Lu wish you a Merry Hi. Christmas. We wish you. It's Leona Lewis, everyone. <laughs> Jonathan, we are back next Saturday with a brand new series. Yeah. What an incredible early Christmas present this is. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. At my age, I'm excited to see another Christmas full stop. <laughs> <laughs> So to be here on Christmas, yeah. what a joy, with the fabulous Leona Lewis, ladies yes. and gentlemen. What a treat. Leona, 
Do you uh, think you'll be a good Christmas detective tonight? Mm, I'm going to try my best. Okay. I really am. I think you're going to do really well. Singers pick up things that we normal people can't. <laughs> uh, Mo, what's a typical Christmas day like for you? I like playing some board games. What's your yeah, board man. game of choice Monopoly. with your family? I like, I like being the banker. Oh, no, oh, always ends in tears. Yeah, I, listen, I ain't seen my dad since. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, I seen him, I seen him. Good. Let's hear it for our panel, everybody. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas. Tonight, four masked singers will battle it out in two head-to-heads. The character with the fewest votes will be unmasked immediately. The two finalists will then sing for a chance to win the show. Sounds fun, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Let's meet our first pair of masked singers. Our first face-off is Partridge, open brackets, in a pear tree, close brackets, <laughs> versus Sprout. <laughs> Simply the nest. It's Partridge. In a pear tree. <laughs> That is so cool. Wow. Uh, oh, hello, parties. Oh, that's a great Christmas costume. It just looks enormous. They've got a strong wind behind them. It's Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's my right, face. Oh, that's a great costume. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I don't know who it is, but when we hugged, I heard them go <laughs> as if we were kissing on each cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, pay close attention to tonight's clue packages, because like Santa on Christmas Eve, the clues are everywhere. <laughs> Parts of the clue packages contain stunt doubles. It's elf and safety gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope they're not winging it. It's Partridge! Yeah. In a pear tree. OK, clue. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Tweet da woo! Merry everywhere Christmas to you! Meet everyone's favorite Christmas warbler. It's me, Partridge in a pear tree. Got it. I think that's a fake accent. Flower power. Girl power. Girl band. Try and forage who I am. My true love gave to me second place and 12 days of Christmas. Ooh, I... Christmas songbook. Is it a singer? I'm a traditionalist, me, sitting in my pear tree, writing books. I can really relate to Ebenezer. Somebody that's played Ebenezer Scrooge before? But I'm a far more popular partridge, cos I've had success across the bird pond. While back at home in the nest... Who's a twin? There's a party in the kitchen. There's a show called Saturday Kitchen. I let a team out at long. So get the pipers piping and the drummers drumming. I'm heading to stage. Wonderful time of the year. What? I think I'll recognize that boy. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Wow! Oh my God, they've got a good voice! It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing, hearts will be glowing when loved ones are here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Someone who's confident on stage. Let's do a little step or change. There'll be parties for hosting marshmallows and toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories, tales of the glory. I feel like it's someone's theatrical.
Give it up wow. for Partridge and a bad tree, everyone. <laughs> wow. I think I know the voice, but I can't put my finger on it. So good. Partridge in a pear tree. Jonathan, start us off. Well, what a great start. Happy Christmas, Partridge. Yeah. Just say happy Christmas to Partridge and your pears. <laughs> in the clues, you mentioned twins. There was a mention of drummers drumming. Someone I know who's a drummer and a twin, and who's also pretty tall, because that's a big person inside Partridge, mm. is Luke Goss from the band Gross. Big Goss. Ooh. OK. Rita. The flower power led me down a more sort of nature gardening route. I heard second place, maybe he may have presented at the Chelsea Flower Show. Nesting, foraging, where do you nest? In a garden. And then I landed on Alan Titchmarsh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Audience seems to like that name. Leona, welcome to the show. Yay! Oh. Partridge, I love that performance. You referred to Lord, so I think you're a cricketer. And then there was mention of Saturday, and Molly King from the Saturdays is married to the cricketer Stuart Broad. Yes. Yes! That's a very, very good guess. Davina. Partridge, you're a bird. Maybe it's someone who can fly, someone who's got a pilot's licence, someone who's written lots of cookery books. And I think after seeing the clues Saturday and Kitchen, it might be James Martin. James oh, Martin is a good that guess. That is a good guess. Great. Mo. I heard them say I had success across the pond, a show Love Island. I think it could be Ian Sterling under there. Oh! Oh! Guys, seeing as it's Christmas, we thought we'd give you an extra clue. In front of you is something to help. Cracker the clue. Okay. Davina, can you please pull yeah. the cracker and read out the joke? Okay, you two pull for me. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a little gift in here. A little oh, gift is a little. It's like a little. Oh, it's a little oh, book. That's oh, that's in you. Sing a notebook. Wow. Okay, the clue is what does the frog say when it receives books for Christmas? Read it, read it, read it, read it. Read it. it. So read it. writer books. Read it is books. also, it's like a site, because you know it said tweet yes, it instead of Twitter. So Social like, media. Like a, it's is a... Elon Musk? It could be Elon Musk in there. <laughs> if that performance has got you guessing, we'll reveal their identity when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Are the panel flying high with these guesses? Or has the festive fowl left them in a flap? Who do you think's behind the mask? Lords are leaping. James Martin. The panel don't have a clue who the partridge in a pear tree could be. After the break, you'll never guess who we've got. It's Sprout. See you in a bit. Christmas special! Before the break, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. But now... It's Sprout. Hey! Sprout's the name! Christmas all wrapped up in a tasty cabbage bubble. Is it a man or a woman? I think it's a man. My life has been a field day. That's a quote from a John Wayne film. Spotless moments, yes, but smelly ones too. I feel like it might be a jockey. Yeah, because it's not a tall person. I'm going to chow down my vegetables. How are you supposed to love us green diamonds in the rough when sometimes we're grounded? My favourite vegetable. And at other times, we're sky high. And don't even get me started on the four seasons. Could be a TV chef. But there was a sheriff badge. Growing up has been a real labour of love. Cos even though I stink of cabbage, you Brits don't half dig me. Good King Wenceslas looked out 
on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even brightly shone the moon that night though the frost was cruel I think it's an older person oh. when a poor man came in sight gathering winter If it wasn't for a bit of rapping, am I right, guys? Oh, yeah. Did you write that yourself? <laughs> wow, I'm uh, loving that sprout. Uh, That's so impressive. So good. Who is it, Rita? I really went down the route of a chef, and I looked and I saw it said budget, and I know he's got a lot of kids, so he's probably always on a budget. I'm going to go with Jamie Oliver. You've got Jamie Oliver? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Who do you think it is, Jonathan? Field day, it said, and then there was a reference to diamond in the rough. Who goes in fields looking for treasure? Mary Berry. Yeah, not Mary Berry. <laughs> yeah. There's a famous show called Time Team, and there was another clue that said, and BLA. Well, BLA are the first three letters from the series Blackadder. I think we're looking at Baldrick. I think it's Tony no. Robinson. Oh! <laughs> Davina. Sprout said, love me or hate me. Now, this is somebody who polarises people. Personally speaking, I absolutely love this person. I thought of Timmy Mallet. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's a good guess. Oh, I love that. Leona, who is it? I feel like I'm in an <laughs> alternate universe. But... <laughs> I'm going a bit with my gut here. I think this is an actor, and I think it might be someone from EastEnders. Mm. Used to run the cash, has a lot to do with food, and I'm thinking... Adam Woodyat, who played Ian Beale. Adam Woodyat. Yeah, yeah, Good in the cast. Yes. Mo, who is it? It was the budget in there, and I thought someone, he's normally quite a fiery person. Yes. And sprouts. Yes. When you eat them, there's a fire in your belly. Yes. And then it gasses you up. Do you know who I think you are? I think you could be Alan Sugar in there. Alan oh, Sugar. Alan Sugar. Do you want another clue? I think we need one. OK, right, Mo, you're next up. Crack that clue, baby. Hey. First of all, right. you got a little present. Yes. What have you got in your little present? Ooh, I got a beard comb. A Yay! beard comb. Get all those crumbs out of it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the clue is where do elephants hide their Christmas presents? Where do elephants in hide their, their Christmas In their trunk, of in course it trunk. is. Oh, swimming. Tom Daly. Tom Daly. I love that. Well done, everyone. You won't know who's in until they've come sprout. <laughs> Give it up and sprout, everyone! Have the panel peeled away their true identity? Or will sprout have the Wences last laugh? The panel managed to brussel up some good guesses, but have they served up my true identity? You'll have to wait for afters to find out. So, studio audience, who do you want to see sing again? Partridge in a pear tree or Sprout? The winner will stay in the competition and the other will be unmasked immediately. <laughs> studio audience, remember, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. Vote now. The 
results are in. And I can tell you it was very, very close. Oh, no. I can reveal the mask singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is. He's doing a victory lap. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Head off down the tunnel, my friend. Yay! Well done. Give up a party, everyone. Sprout off. That means you will be unmasked right after the break. Christmas special where all I want for Christmas is clues. Yay! Clues, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Before the break, our studio audience voted for Partridge in a Pear Tree, the winner of our first face-off, meaning it is time for Sprout's true identity to be revealed. But, of course, first panel. Who do you think it is? Mo Gilligan? Behind that mask, I think that is Lord Alan Sugar behind it. Lord there. Alan Sugar. Lord Alan Sugar. Ooh, <laughs> Davina McCall. It's Timmy Mallet. You're going Timmy Mallet in there. I love that. Leona, who do you think it is? I am sticking with Adam Woodyard. Uh, Adam yeah. Woodyard. Okay. What about you, Rita? I think it's Jamie Oliver. You're going Jamie Oliver. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Finally, Jonathan Ross. Tony Robinson! Let's see. Let's see if any of you are right, Sprout. Who's behind the mask? Take, Take it off! 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 Who are you? Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Oh Thank you. Wow. Jonathan did quite well with the clues. I know, yeah, it's a big speedy rush. Because there weren't that many black adder clues, were there? No. I mean, and that's yeah. why I wasn't sure it was you, but then I thought Sprout goes second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and then BLA. Mm. Blackadder goes fourth. It a was fourth. the last series. Yes. Yes, oh. now it makes sense. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, enormously. I mean, I did find it very difficult. Foolishly, I wrote a rap that I find it impossible to say. <laughs> so, if I've got to do it again, I mean, really, please all keep your fingers crossed. I don't no, think I'm going to get to the we end of it. 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 was an absolutely incredible reveal. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you over for Christmas. Singing one last time, unmask, at last. Let's hear it for Tony Robinson, everybody. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even <laughs> Then the king had a thing and hey. the page had a rage <laughs> They went to the geezer with the keys to the freezer yeah. The boxes of chocolates, <laughs> their favourites from Paris <laughs> And parsnips and carrots <laughs> and chicken and chips yes. And tikka masala and jelly the size of an elephant's belly. <laughs> and the man who said, Bring me flesh hey. and bring me wine. Hey. Bring me fine logs here. Come on, hey. down hey. now. Hey. Hey. See him die hey. when we give him dinner. If you feed the poor, if you feed the poor, go hey. feed the poor, go hey. feed the poor. And then you'll get a blessing hey. like snow falling from the sky. And I nearly made it. <laughs> down so let's see who else is under the christmas tree it's time for our second head-to-head -head. it's decorations versus reindeer <laughs> they're always hanging around 
around at Christmas, it's decoration! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! I love decoration! Yeah. Oh! They're a rebel without a clause. It's reindeer! <laughs> So beautiful. First up, they're unbelievable. It's decoration. Yeah! All right, let's do it. Lights. Tinsel. And all the Christmas action. It's me, decorations. And these baubles. Sounds like an East Ender. Proper East Ender. Time to fill homes with Christmas joy. I know how to dress trees in both traditional colours and flamboyant ones. My favourites are TV gold and bronze. Gold and bronze, what's that say? Merry Christmas, Neighbours. foolish neighbours. Neighbours? Christmas is busy, but I've been known to spruce up Halloween. Halloween? Maybe he does a big Halloween party. Jerry can, Terry can. And I've been decorating entertainment for years. With decor, you can improvise. Decor? Maybe he's a designer. I'm not that time. I'm going to some eat with someone on the panel. Someone that someone knows. Who's had beef for decoration? Decorating? I absolutely love it. Time to put some pizzazz onto stage and paint the tinsel town red. This is that Hollywood normal. One hundred percent. I know that boy. So he's falling all around me. Children play. I know who this is. Having fun, it's the season, love and understanding, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah! You miss playing, Sing it, decorate. record playing, all the old stuff you love to hear. All I wish that every day was Christmas, oh, what a nice way to spend the year. So good. You can tell you were enjoying that because you knew you were going to go in the loft tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna... Jonathan, I'm going to come to you first. I loved it. I was looking at the clues and you got into some heat with one of the panels. So it's someone who's worked with us or knows us, some of us at least. And I'm thinking the person who I did Celebrity Apprentice with, who was famous for dressing up stars and then did a whole TV show about dressing up people, is Gok Wan. Gok Wan. Yeah. And I think that might be Gok. Who do you think it is, Rita Ora? I looked at the VT and I was thinking, this person isn't afraid to be themselves, definitely has an opinion. I know also that this person has a decorating programme, and I think this is, ladies and gentlemen, Alan Carr. You think yeah. it's Alan Carr? Oh, a lot of people agree with you, Rita yeah. Ora. As soon as I heard that voice, I knew, yes. knew, knew that it was Alan Carr. Davina. So, I was looking at your box. It's <laughs> oh. a good box. <laughs> I was looking at your box, and it's the wrong way up. 
<laughs> and I was thinking, is this a sign, Neighbours Australian? He was also in Joseph and his Technicolor dream mm. coat. You My can't face. get more Technicolor yeah. than decorations. I think it's Jason Donovan. Oh. Jason Donovan is good now. Mo Gilligan, who is it? Joel, I'm absolutely flummoxed. I have no idea who this person is. I'm even using word like flummoxed. We don't use this word in the black community. I can't lie to you, Joel. <laughs> um, one of the clues, it says behaving badly. A sensational show. Men behaving badly. It could be Martin Clunes. Martin oh, Clunes. Yeah. Do you want another clue? Uh, yes. OK, desperate. keep your mince pies peeled. It's Cracker the Clue. Jonathan. It's your turn. OK. Go on, you know what to Ready? do, Jonathan. Oh, beautifully pulled. What's your present? It is... Oh, so, hang on, it's a bus pass, and it says 65 plus with my name on. <laughs> I, I'm not 65 for another 24 months, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so uh, here's the clue. Are you ready? Where do air conditioners hold their Christmas parties? Oh! Where? Fan club. club! Fan club! Jason Donovan's got a massive fan club, yeah. obviously. So he's got one. Leona's still going, it's definitely Alan so Carr. Alan Carr. <laughs> now, did you manage to untangle the clues? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Give it up for decorations, everyone. <laughs> Is Doc the one? Or are the panel talking a load of old ball balls? Who do you think's behind the mask? The lights are on, but is anyone home? They really need to start thinking outside the box if they want to unpack these decorations. They're dashing through the competition. It's reindeer. Woo! OK. Reindeer, take one. Hiya! I'm reindeer. I love everything except rain. That does sound like a good Welsh accent. Yeah. I love flying, I do. I'm fast like a royal aeroplane. Flying? Someone might have a flying licence. That's... Scots and Irish. But if it's raining, I'm more like a soggy paper plane. I'm super excited on Christmas Eve. Hello. Owl singers. Because Santa has asked me to pull the sleigh from the front. I'm not deep in it, but I was stood at the rear of the herd last time. But I started flexing his hooves. Anton helped. He is loyal. Someone who did Strictly with <laughs> Anton. I'm, like, qualified and everything now. Nothing can stop me but the rain. But drip, drip, drop, drop. I'm well prepared for the stage.
Give it up for Ray Deer, everyone! Woo! Davida. Oh, Ray Deer, I love you! You started speaking, I thought, Welsh accent, you can't fake that, but they might not. Uh, naturally speak with a Welsh accent, but it's somebody that knows Wales very, very well. Also, Anton, we heard, um, and this person's done Strictly. I think it's Carol Vorderman. Oh. <laughs> Carol Vorderman was a really good guest, but bear with me, though. You saw there was Santa, there was a statue of Santa with two carol singers. Yeah. Oh. And carol, carol is might the be most the clue. Christmassy name yeah, but ever. There's someone who also did Strictly. Who? With Anton, Ooh. Carol Smiley. <gasps> it's the Battle of the Carols. Mo Gilligan. Joel Domet. Yeah. I was looking at the clue package. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I said, I'm all Jamaican than Welsh. This is terrible for me. All right, so another clue that I seen was a big head for the stage. This woman is very, very smart. She's got yes. one of the highest IQs in the world. Uh, you know, in she was on world. Countdown. So um, that's why I went with Carol Waterman. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Leona. <laughs> Maybe it's someone in tennis, because you kept saying the rain, rain the rain. Play. Rain stops oh, yeah. Ah, tennis. Yes. Interesting. So maybe it might be someone in tennis. And Judy Murray actually was oh. Anton's partner. Oh, coach, that is a good guess. Tennis coach. <laughs> Who do you think it is, Rita? So I heard you say heard, mm. which made me think team sport. And what's better than a pantomime dame than a real dame? Dame Jessica Ennis Hill. Ooh. Oh. OK, guys, since it's Christmas, let's play Cracker the Clue! Leona Rita, yes. you're up next for this one. Oh. You've got a Yay. cracker you can share together. Oh, oh. beautiful! Oh. What presents have you got? What presents Look. have you got? Oh, oh it's a sparkly God. microphone! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish Christmas and a happy new year. Oh, that's beautiful! <laughs> that was so, so good. Yeah, I can do the honors. Okay. Uh, why didn't the quarter roll down the snowy mountain with the nickel? It's because it had more sense. Oh, it had more sense. sense. Correct, Jonathan. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard that. that. I've heard that. Does that help as a clue? A sense? No. Uh, oh, no, it's OK. You'll find out who it is very soon. Who's behind the hoof? The hoof? You can't handle the hoof. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Give it up for Reindeer, everyone! Yes, Reindeer! Oh, dear. Should the panel rein it in, or were their guesses on the nose? Who's that behind the mask? Smiley or Vorderman? And I think I'm a Christmas carol. What the dickens? So, studio audience, who do you want to see sing again? Decorations or reindeer? The winner will remain in the competition and the other will find themselves unmasked immediately. Please welcome back Decorations and Reindeer! <laughs> Studio audience, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. Vote now. <laughs> the results are in. And again, it is very, very close. I can reveal the masked singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on for now is... Don't snow anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ma 
Last thing, a Christmas special. Next Saturday, we're gifting you all with a brand new series of The Masked Singer. But tonight, we're wrapping our heads around who is behind the mask. I'm so yeah. excited. Before the break, our studio audience voted Reindeer the winner of our second face-off, meaning in just a moment, decorations will be unmasked. But first, of course, panel, who do you think it is? Mo Gilligan. I think it is Martin Clunes. Yeah, Martin Clunes, I love that. Davina. Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. Leona Lewis. Sticking with Alan Carr. Alan Carr. Rita. I am sticking also with Alan Carr. Okay, I like that. Jonathan Ross. I'm going to go with Gokwan. You're going to go Gokwan. Okay, well, let's see if any of you are right. Who's behind the mask? Woo! Decorations. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. How could you get it so wrong? <laughs> oh, my God, what? Davina, haven't you worked with Julian? Yes, I mean, a lot. Like, I've known Julian for absolutely ages. Yes. We've spent an extraordinary amount of time in swimming costumes but together. But that was the clue, wasn't it? That was the clue, heat. Heat, because oh. you did prickly heat together. Prickly heat, sit I down in shame, yeah. Davina. I am, I, I am embarrassed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Now it makes sense of the riddle, which was about um, fan club. Yes. Because, of course, you were originally Joan Collins fan Joan club. Collins fan oh. club. Yes. You know, I absolutely love your costume. It's good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I have not had this much fun since I got stuck in a lift with Christopher Biggins. <laughs> <laughs> the thrill for me as a performer was beating the panel. And you <laughs> succeed. Yes. You really succeeded, ah. honestly. Happy Christmas. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Singing on Mars and last is Julia Clary. For parties and celebration, people dancing all night long. Time for presents and exchanging kisses. Time for singing Christmas songs. There is food. We've unboxed two characters and just two remain. It's time for Partridge in a Pear Tree and Reindeer's sing-off to decide who will be the Masked Singer Christmas number one. Welcome back, Partridge in a Pear Tree. Yay! Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Aww. I don't know if there'll be snow. But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet You know this voice Ho, ho, the mistletoe Is hung where you can see Somebody who waits for you Kiss her once for me He's hung where you can see Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas In case you didn't hear Oh by golly have a holly jolly Christmas This year do you love a pair ball? Woo! Make some noise for 
Partridge. Yeah. Bit of bad tree, everyone. So good. I'm going in. Very confident performance. Panel, what did you think about that? Amazing. What a performance. And dancing. We didn't see that coming. OK, well, before our next singer performs, we thought we'd give you another clue with some help from the pantomime reindeer. Oh. Unfortunately, he's not ready yet. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. It's clued off the pantomime reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, clued off. Hello. Oh, is this the clue? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Clued off, everybody. Clued off. Clued off. Oh, a little bit lost there. Be careful of the piano. Obviously, most of the budget was spent on Leona Lewis. OK. <laughs> Uh, right, panel. I'm going to read out the two things Partridge in a Pear Tree wants for Christmas. However, okay. one okay. is naughty, meaning false, and the other is nice, meaning okay. true. It's okay. up to you to decide which is which. Let's find out. Dear Santa, for Christmas I would like aviator sunglasses <gasps> so I can look the part flying the plane. Could I also have a crimson elf? Just like the one I got in 1993. Thank you, love from Partridge. Brackets in a pear tree. James Martin's got a pilot's licence. Really? Aviator sunglasses. Guys, Top Gun, one of my favourite films ever. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Am I right? No. <laughs> Give it up for Partridge in a pear tree, everyone. Partridge is a natural entertainer. Yeah. Look, hilarious. Performing next, it's Reindeer! Yay! Panel, do you want another clue? Yes. From Cludolf? Yes, please. Yeah. Love Cludolf. Oh, guys, unfortunately, he's not ready again. He is, he's behind you. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Uh, come on in, Cludolf. Yay! Hello, Cludolf. Thank you, thank you very much. Cludolf, everybody. It's your cousin that you only see at Christmas. OK, panel, same as before, I'm going to read out to you the two things reindeer wants for Christmas. However, one is naughty, meaning false, and one is nice, meaning true. Dear Santa, for Christmas, I would really like a hamper of haggis. Delicious! Haggis? Haggis? Well, it's got it. I would also like a slower running machine. I could barely keep up on my last one. OK, Vorders, I know, is sporty. She works out a lot. Mm. If the haggis is the, the white clue, and Scottish is another cowl, yeah. who was also on Strictly, the weathery, the cowl Kirk. Oh, my mm. God! Mm. Weathery. And that makes sense with the outfit as well. Make some noise for Ray Deer, everyone! <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Ray Deer. I love you. I like 
reindeer. Reindeer gives everything she's got. Yeah. Either partridge in a pear tree or reindeer will be crowned the Mars Singer Christmas number one tonight. Don't go anywhere because after the break we've got even more clues. See you in a bit. <laughs> Singer Christmas special. We've had four Mars Singers perform, and boy, has it been merry and bright. <laughs> now, before our audience vote for tonight's winner, we're going to give you one more clue before the end of the show. That's yours, Lop. Um, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Panel, this is the ultimate game of Secret Santa. It's up to you to work out which gift was given by which Mars singer. Unwrap your presents, panel. Okay. okay. Ooh, wow. You go first. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, paddles. Oh, wow. Is this like Strictly? Yeah, they are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rita, open show, yours. Show us. Open yours. I Very love cool. Christmas. <gasps> Stopwatch. A stopwatch. I think this is strictly because Carol was on strictly. Mm, reindeer. But then the stopwatch could be Carol because numbers. No. Oh, countdown! Yeah. Okay, oh. stopwatch Carol Boardman. But Carol. also, are we just going to all dismiss it being a runner? Yes. Well, oh, that makes it sense. brings that back yeah. in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica Ennis. Well, I'm going to take the jump and I'm going to say reindeer is stopwatch. Okay, and you're going to go and with that. If that's the case, then what is this for part? I think yeah. it's someone who's been on Strictly. And earlier on, you were talking about cricket, weren't you? About cricket players, and it could be Darren Goff or Phil Tufnell. I like that a lot. Studio audience, it is time for you to vote for this year's The Masked Singer Christmas number one. While our studio audience votes, here is a reminder of all of tonight's performances. The ones are here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, by golly, have a happy, jolly Christmas this year. Has come. I can reveal the winner of the Mars Singer Christmas special is. came so close and now it is time for you to reveal your identity but of course first panel who do you think this is mo gilligan oh you were the pleasure on the show and you really gave us the christmas spirit so i'm gonna stick with carol Waterman. okay Davina McCall. One of my fave women in the world i think it's carol Waterman. carol Waterman, two for carol Leona. Reindeer, you're so cute. I think it's Judy Murray. Judy Murray is a good guess. Rita. Reindeer, thank you. I think you are Dame Jessica Ennis Hill. Jessica Ennis Hill. Jonathan. I'm going to stick with the other Carol. I think it's Carol Smiley in there. OK, interesting. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Reindeer, who's behind the mask? Take, Take it, it off. off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, 
about the Christmas. Oh, Carol Fordyman, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my. I nearly didn't say, Carol, because you yeah. messaged me tonight. And I was like, well, she wouldn't be messaging if she was on the show. Exactly. I'm I did so a little rinky dink there. Yeah. This is my... We, we were in the jungle together in 2016. Oh. She's my oh. ear. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know? As soon as I heard her voice, I was like, oh, it's Carol. <laughs> You're amazing. I've loved every oh. second Have of you? it, honestly. Oh, man. What did you think of some of their guesses? I thought that, well, I thought maybe the Welsh accent, because they said, oh, disguise your voice. I said, well, I can do a very good North Wales accent. I knew you'd be able to do that. Yeah, but no, I feel so stupid. I never knew you were Welsh. All these years, I never knew you were Welsh. Seriously? Yeah, see, I know you're Welsh from, yeah. from you know, our chats in the jungle. Carol, my Welsh accent. That well, is what I was really just about to say, man. I thought it, it was lovely, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> oh, Leona's mum is Welsh. Leona, come on, let's do your Welsh accent. Come on. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. That's how you do it. I mean, you basically got most of the clues, right, Jonathan? I knew you were a pilot. You can fly, can't you? You've got I your pilot's fly, license. Yeah. Yeah. Course, yeah, that makes sense. And the hooving, when he said the hooves, that must be because you've done fitness videos. And yeah, some yes. of that, you? well, I love my gym, as Davina knows. Yeah. So, and also, yes. the running was the treadmill, wasn't it? I had something happened accident. with you on the treadmill. treadmill. I remember that. <laughs> I was training for a half marathon and I got a bit hot, so I took all my clothes off, got back on the treadmill, and it went. Whew, and I got trapped at the bottom of the treadmill. It's very, very dangerous. Naked. What? No. Carol, we've all used that excuse. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. Carol, the other thing that slightly led me to you... <laughs> Every no, time don't. you walked off... The bum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The biggest clue of all is in my name. Carol! Yes. The ultimate Christmas clue. Carol herself. Hello. You honestly have been an absolute... Joy. Give it up for Carol Vorderman, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We love, love you. Carol. Singing for the last time, unmasked at last, it's Carol Vorderman. Yeah. <laughs> We will unmask the winner of the Mars Singer Christmas special. Baby, it's cold outside, so don't go ho ho anywhere. <laughs> of your Christmas number one. Please welcome back to the stage, Partridge in a Pear Tree! He's almost taking flight! I love Partridge! It is almost time for Partridge in a Pear Tree to be unmasked, but first... Panel, who do you think it is? Mo Gilligan. So I think it's Ian Sterling under You there. think it's Ian Sterling yes. in there? Davina. I'm going to stick with James Martin. Yeah, I think that's a good guess. Leona. I'm going to say Stuart Brown. Interesting. Rita. It's Alan Titchbar. Sticking with the Titch. Jonathan. I'm kind of swayed by Leona. I think it is someone of the world of cricketing. So I'm going to go with Darren Goff. Darren oh. Goff in there. Oh, interesting. Some great names there. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Who's behind the mask? Take it off. 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 Every single 
this. <laughs> I've never been so far off, Joel. Do you know this? Mo, you've been that far off pretty much oh. every week. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. You make a very good partridge. Do you think so? Did it work, Jonathan? Yeah, you, you've got all the moves, the partridge moves now. Look at that. What was the cricket reference? There was a Lord's reference in there. There was a Lord's reference. Me, the head chef of the long room at Lord's. Oh. And all the food clues obviously now make sense. Ready, steady, cook. Ready, steady, Ready, cook. Ready, steady, cook. Yeah. And yeah. the big oh, hit was man. can't cook, won't cook. Won't yes. Cook. Yeah. Oh, God. This is the best reveal ever. This is the best Christmas party. <laughs> I love you so much, oh, Jason. You You're the best. Yeah. You're the one doing it. Yeah, yeah right. rock on, me, <laughs> you one rock on. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, oh, absolutely. The idea, the build up to it, learning your songs and trying to be in a bit of a disguise, yeah. you know, but at the same time entertaining everybody. And I think you overall we had a great, great day. Absolutely killed it. Yeah. Give it up, Daisy Harry, everybody, yeah. our winner. Christmas number one. There you have it. Four amazing Mars singers have knocked around our Christmas tree and there wasn't a single Grinch in sight. A huge well done to all of our amazing celebrities and our wonderful panel, everyone. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next Saturday for a brand new series of the Mars Singer from the whole team here. Merry Christmas. Now performing one final time, Unmasked at last, Woo! it's Ainsley Harrier. Oh, yes. yes, Ainsley. Yes, Ainsley. Most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling And everyone telling You'll be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year Parties for hosting marshmallows and toasting, barreling out in the snow. Woo! There'll be scary ghost stories, tales of the glories. Christmas is long, long ago. Oh, the most wonderful time. be emotionally moved by a singing egg. Hey! This is so weird. We are just getting started, people. It's like I was blown away. That was amazing. Wow. This is the best voice we've ever had. Oh. You know who it could be? Oh, for goodness sake. Mary Berry. It could be Mary Berry in there, ladies and gentlemen. I've got absolutely no idea what's driving me up the wall. <laughs> 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 I see Beyonce three times. She has nothing on the airplane. <laughs>